Everybody knows about you, right? My family. I talk about you all the time. My crazy, my crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I got you tongue tied up, tossed, tingling, tussling with my part. Your thighs like calling the scale. Blossom between the comb, my gap. Let me braid your hair, girl. Mm -hmm. Look, look, legally you his, but regally we know. The stars align for this again. I knew you before. I said, I. Knew you before, this love was like we were repeating it Like you was my wife in another life And not one it for me, you cheated then Don't matter, let me break your head, woman You my moon, it cuss me Cause I do, I love you As someone who's been married for 30 years What advice would you give A young woman who got married around 17 to 20 years old, you know, in their formative years. Realizing maybe five to 10 years later that they want to grow outside of that marriage, you know, to leave the marriage. And the only reason that they have been stuck in it or stayed were other reasons such as societal pressures, financial obligations and such. What advice would you give them? Run. Go ahead and get out of it. Change your lifestyle and go. Do that, that's it. That's it. You say they should wait a little while. Wait, wait for what? Well, wait for a better time. Wait till they, they're ready. Like they have the maybe financial footing, maybe when they have I don't know, maybe when their parents might approve. No, I don't think that's a good choice. Not anymore, I don't think it is. Um, because, especially if you have not said that you have committed adultery, but say if you have been conversing with other men, um, you have met someone and and you like that person, that person like you, and they seem to be everything that you want, but you can't be with that person because of your situation, so, you know, don't wait any longer. Go ahead and leave. Yeah, because life is not guaranteed to be there the next day for nobody. <laughs>